Hello, my name is Ranjana Jain. I work as an IT Pro Evangelist with Microsoft India. In my role as an IT Pro Evangelist, my job is to basically talk about the most new and upcoming technologies from Microsoft, especially with respect to the core infrastructure as well as the security products from Microsoft. So today I'm going to be talking about automating the deployment of Windows 7 on multiple computers in your IT infrastructure. This topic has been quite a big discussion, especially with respect to IT professionals, administrators, deployment administrators, as well as IT managers. It has been quite a hot topic of discussion amongst the IT managers with respect to whether to install a new, a fresh operating system onto all their, all their existing machines or to actually migrate them and upgrade them from Windows Vista to Windows 7. Now to analyze this and to automate the deployment of Windows 7 on old computers and on new computers, we have got from Microsoft various kinds of tools available for IT administrators and IT managers to analyze their hardware and software IT environment so as to make sure that they are ready for Windows 7 deployments in just a matter of minutes. Now to analyze whether your existing hardware is capable of deploying Windows uh, of deployment with Windows 7 as such, we've got tools like uh, a map toolkit from Microsoft which is available for free download for you. You can actually download this particular tool and it will analyze your uh, IT environment in an agentless manner to analyze whether your systems are ready for Windows 7 deployment and in case not what systems require what kind of hardware or software chains to be ready to be deployed with Windows 7. Now one major point of discussion has been what path of upgradation should you take while upgrading from the existing operating systems to the Windows 7 operating systems. Now your IT environment might be installed with Windows 7, Windows uh, computers installed with either Windows XP or Windows Vista environment. So what path do you actually take to upgrade the Windows XP computers to Windows 7. In fact, to tell you straight away first of all is that an in-place upgradation of Windows XP computers is not supported for Windows 7. But the good news is you can actually install Windows 7 computers as a fresh installation on those computers and then we have got automated tools for you that, that can actually scan all the user state information, uh, documents, etc. and application settings of all the user accounts created on the Windows XP computer and then it can actually replicate the same kind of documents and settings information, application settings for the users on the new Windows 7 installations. So in this case there can be two different scenarios. Either you may have a PC refresh scenario, a PC or a PC upgrade scenario. PC replacement scenario. A PC refresh scenario is the one uh, in which you use the same hardware on which Windows XP is installed, take the Windows 7 media, install Windows 7 on the same computer on which Windows XP was installed. You might choose to format the hard drive, create a new partition and install Windows 7 on it or you might choose to install Windows 7 on the same partition on which Windows XP was installed. There are tools available for you, in fact we have Windows Easy Transfer Wizard which is available for Windows XP also, again for free download from download.microsoft.com. You can download it for Windows XP, run the Windows Easy Transfer Wizard on Windows XP computer, it will actually scan all the user accounts, their documents and settings, their application settings etc. and will allow you to save all that data on a shared media. Once you install Windows 7, as a fresh installation on that computer, you can again run Windows Easy Transfer Wizard built into Windows 7, pick up all the information from the shared media where you have stored it and the load state actually will actually load all that information and it will even create user accounts for uh, on, on the computer if they are not created yet. But it is always recommended that in case your Windows XP computer was domain joined, before running the Windows Easy Transfer Wizard in Windows 7, you must make sure that your computer, the new Windows 7 computer is domain is joined to the same domain to which Windows XP computer was joined before actually transferring all the user state and settings and application settings on that new computer. The other way how you can automate this easily is that if you have a number of computers maybe in hundreds and thousands and you would like to actually automate this process of uh, Windows 7 deployment 
and then migration of all the files and settings from Windows XP to the new Windows 7 installations, you, you can automate all that with the use of the new Microsoft, uh, Microsoft uh, uh, Deployment Toolkit 2010. This particular tool, MDT 2010, actually integrates all the tools that were available to you previously for Windows Server 2003 and Windows uh, and Windows Vista like uh, BDD and uh, Microsoft Deployment Toolkit 2007 and you had uh, USMT etc. It integrates all these particular tools in one comprehensive tool that allows you to create a set of steps that would actually automate the deployment of Windows 7 on all the computers which can be an image based deployment and then actually even make an uh, make an unattended installation on all these computers and then you can run what is called as user state migration tool 4.0 the new version of USMT tool which can be downloaded and is updated so that you can automate the files and settings transfer of all the user accounts from Windows XP computers to the Windows 7 computers even that can be automated using USMT 4.0 with USMT 4.0, we've introduced a new feature called as hard link migration. Now what hard link migration is basically that if you are actually uh, installing Windows 7 on the same computer, same hardware on which Windows XP has been installed, all that you need to do is when you're making a fresh installation, you must make sure that you do not delete or format the partition on which Windows XP is installed. So when you put in the Windows 7 media and you choose to make a new installation, it gives you the drives op drive options. Do not delete or format the partition on which Windows XP is installed. Choose the same partition and go ahead with installing Windows 7 on the same partition on which Windows, Windows XP was installed. In this case, the system uh, setup would give you a warning stating that an operating system is already installed on this particular volume and in case you choose the same volume for the installation of Windows 7, it would actually transfer all the user files and settings etc. onto a folder named as windows.old in, in, in the root of your system. So in this case, if you go ahead with this kind of installation, once your Windows 7 system comes up, you would see the appearance of a windows.old folder in, your, uh, in the root of your system. Windows.old folder actually contains all those user files and settings and application settings that you had used the Windows Easy Transfer Wizard to actually transfer to the shared media. In this case, you haven't done all that because your setup, setup has actually done this for you by actually saving all the user account information and the application and document settings in the windows.old folder. All that is required to be done by you now is to run the USMT scan state and load state commands to pick up those settings from the windows.old folder and transfer those settings accordingly in the respective user accounts, documents and settings and application settings. But Please mind it that during en using any of these tools, either you're using Windows Easy Transfer or USMT or any kind of deployment tools, will not actually transfer your application installations from the old to the new system. You will have to make sure that the applications that you're installing on Windows 7 are, are compatible and check for compatibility for Windows 7. All that will be transferred for you by USMT or Windows Easy Transfer is the application settings. So if you've, if you've been working on Outlook, your PST file would be transferred but not the installation of Outlook. Once you install Outlook on your new Windows 7 operating system, you will not have to create a new profile or an account on the Outlook. You will directly be able to use your account information in the old PST file and it will be ready for use once you install Outlook on, on the new computer.